hello once again and in this tutorial we will actually build a qr code scanner app and in here actually we will use the camera to scan the qr code okay let's get it started is start a new project and give it a name qr code uh, qr code scanner And finish okay our project is ready and go to XML file and select this okay we will use a relative layout just remove here and use relative layout and write relative layout also in here and first of all we will actually use three libraries i will put in the description box please check okay these are uh, the three libraries we will use now I scan now configure successful okay first of all we will use a uh, scanner view zx this one match parent on uh, wrap content oh uh, sorry match parent match um, match parent match parent and we will use some margins margin left 20 dp and we will copy paste this one four times margin right bottom 20 dp and margin right 20 dp and margin oh uh, sorry bottom will be 10 dp yep and margin top will be 20 dp okay that's it give id id zx scan and okay now we will use two text view that's why we will use a linear layout Ma match parent wrap con match parent wrap content and orientation will be vertical give a id layout result okay now this will be in the bottom so align parent bottom true yes and give some margin in that bottom so margin bottom 15 dp that's it okay now in here we'll use this layout above id or layout margin result yes this one now add it to text view so first one is text view um, match parent wrap content and the text will be in here show that the result sorry sorry the result is or uh, will be here okay text size 15 sp text style bold and in here we will use another text view match parent wrap content and give a id in here that will be text result and text alignment center text color will be a color primary okay that's it now go to activity main and in here initialize just initialize scanner view ZD, zx scanner view okay and another one is text view actually we will use in here so text view 
text view okay now initialize this scanner view and text view find view by id r dot id dot zx scan yes and text view uh sorry is equal to find view by id r dot id dot text result yes this one and in here we will use desktop for taking uh, permission so desktop dot with activity this dot with permissions manifest dot permission dot camera yes dot with listener new permission listener and at the bottom dot check yes and we will use a toast when the permission will be denied toast dot make text main activity dot this please uh, please accept the please accept this permission yes this permission and toast will be long toast dot length long yes show and in here we will use a method which uh, when the permission will be granted that is we will pass a uh, zx scanner view dot uh, set result handler we will see in later was a set result handler main activity dot this and we will uh, start the camera yes and the, the shows are wrong because we need to actually uh, use implement the methods okay that is handle the request actually when the jdx scanner view will get a uh, code then it will start actually it will come in here that's it actually so when the uh, we will see uh, bar, uh, keyword scanner then we set the text in the text view okay text view dot set text sorry set a uh, set text yes this one raw result and the text will be it will catch by raw result so raw result dot get text yes and zs scanner view dot start camera we will use start m camera again after getting a text uh, from the barcode sorry qr code okay we will use two more methods that is on resume and on destroy when the app will be destroyed so it will come in here and the this method will continue so in here what will you do when the when the app will be uh, stopped so it uh, we will stop the camera so stop camera yes and when it will resume first it will uh, go to set handler zx dot set handler request main activity dot this yes this one and we will start the camera yep okay everything is okay now we will check the code again first go to manifest oh shit sorry we need to permissions for camera so use it okay everything is okay now just run the code okay we see in here that it needs a permission so when we allow it it is opening a camera and we see that it shows code for tomorrow and that's it